Hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you're fine. Ελπίζω να είστε καλά. Did you go on holiday? Πήγατε διακοπές. Did you go on holiday? Πήγατε διακοπές. In this lesson, we are going to study the verb go and we are going to start with the simple past which is πήγα, I went. Simple past. Αόριστος. I went. Εγώ πήγα. You went. Εσύ πήγες. He went. Αυτός πήγε. She went. Αυτή πήγε. It went. Αυτό πήγε. Here we have singular form. Ενικός αριθμός. Singular form. And now let's move to the plural form. Εμείς πήγαμε. We went. Εμείς πήγαμε. You went. Εσείς πήγατε. They went. Αυτοί πήγαν. For men. Or πήγανε. Αυτές πήγαν. For women. Αυτά πήγαν. They went. Plural form. Κληθυντικός. Αριθμός. Plural form. Κληθυντικός. Αριθμός. Plural form. Singular form, ενικός, αριθμός. Now, you can study on your own, simple past in Greek, which is the verb πήγα, of the infinitive πηγαίνω. So, the verb in, in its initial form is πηγαίνω, go. Now we are going to move to the conjugation of the verb go, πηγαίνω, in Greek, in simple present and present continuous, since in Greek it's the same form. It's called, it's called present and estotas. I go. Εγώ πηγαίνω. You go. Εσύ πηγαίνεις. He, go, he goes. Αυτός πηγαίνει. She goes. Αυτή πηγαίνει. It goes. Αυτό πηγαίνει. So, the singular form is this one. Now, let's move to the plural form. We go. Emis pigemna. You go. Esis pigenete. They go. Αυτοί πηγαίνουν. For men. Αυτές. For women. Αυτά.
for kids or objects αυτά πηγαίνουν. Now we will study future simple of the verb go in Greek. Μέλλοντας. Future. Μέλλοντας. I will go. Εγώ θα πάω. In Greek, the subject is always optional. Θα πάω. Will go. You will go. Εσύ. Optionally. Θα πας. He'll go. Αυτός. Θα πάει. Αυτός. Θα πάει. She'll go. Αυτή. Θα πάει. Optionally. It will go. Αυτό θα πάει. This is what we call singular form. Ενικός αριθμός. Let's move to the plural form. We'll go εμείς θα πάμε. You'll go εσείς θα πάτε. They'll go. Αυτοί. Αυτές. Αυτά. Αυτή is a plural form of he. Αυτές, the plural form of she. Αυτά, it's the plural form of... Ok, once more. Αυτοί θα πάνε. Αυτές θα πάνε. Αυτά θα πάνε. As you can see, P, the letter P, P in Greek can be written as you can see in this way or that way. Both are correct. So, we have seen aoristo, enestota and meloda in Greek of the verb go. A lot of my students ask me in their emails if there are some particular rules of uh, how we can better memorize the theory of verbs, but I believe that what you must do is to focus on each verb individually because grammar has a lot of exceptions rather than rules, in my opinion. So, study this uh, verb and in one of the next lessons, of course, we are going to see more verbs and other Greek phenomena as well. Thank you for watching this lesson. Come back and check the next ones. Bye!